But I'm in advanced mode, you can go to easy mode over here or advanced mode if you're in easy mode, F6 I believe. You need to go to OC Twigger, which I assume stands for overclocking. Don't panic, we're not going to do any overclocking. Now you can save user defaults there, I've already saved a couple here. Just click on there, put it in the slot you want, give it a name you want. I'll put the date on mine, see. What I'm going to show you is save UEFI profile to disk. So I'm going to click on that, select the disk. I've already got a couple saved here, as you can see. Put in a name. You don't need to put the bin on the end. It'll put the bin on BIN binary automatically. Let's do copy. OK. Click on save. Yep, that's just checking that's getting in the camera. Let's click on save and then you get the user profile name in. And you can give it your name. Well, I can spell it right. So you give it a name like that, say the person who's actually saving the profile or something possibly meaningful to you, you could give it, um, you know, like, uh, let's try and think, over clock, when I can spell it, I mean fingers go right, CPU 3.4. Say, because you go say you've overclocked the CPU to 3.4. Now you might think you click save here. No point clicking save. Right, you'll have to press the enter key. I'm going to press the enter key. Profile saved. Click OK. I will load. Loading it in is pretty much the same. Say load, select disk got more options there and there is the copy no I don't want to do that I actually don't but see it's got the profile name up here to give you a clue maybe what you've actually done in the BIOS the version of the BIOS and the motherboard name there now I've looked for these files, I don't know if they're hidden or not, on the uh, computer and I haven't found them to be honest, so I'm going to exit out of that. But that's just to, so if I wanted to load that profile, just show you that again, go there, petition 1, click on the file you want, no, see, let, let me go back to this one. Uh, so as soon as I point, is it? Yeah, as soon as I point the mouse point at it, it's saying the profile name. Let's exit out of that, and then basically you just exit as normal. Save changes. Now I'm not sure how this affects the BIOS because there's two like lots of BIOSes in there. I have not used this. I've only saved profiles. I have not needed to load any profiles. But that's basically how you can save it. I would suggest that you might want to save it to uh, the USB. So I've plugged in a USB sort of thumb drive, pen drive, whatever people want to call them. Select disk and there it is, SanDisk Cruiser Petition 1, 30th March 
and 20 when I can do it right. Save. User profile. I'm going to call it working. U D F I because I know this is working. I'm going to give it that name. Oh yes, it's enter not save. Profile saved. Oh Lord. Obviously I'm going to need the USB drive in when I do this. It's on this USB drive and there it is there. Working UEFI. Okay. I'm going to actually look on this sun drive disk just now. I'll show you what's on the disk. So there's my four gig drive. Uh, thumb drive, USB drive, and there's the file there. So Dutch, sorry, that's going out of focus. There we are. 30th March 2000. And let's have, see if we can open this up. Have a quick look. Shifty at it. Open with. Oh, let's go down to Pilot Edit, which I quite like. And it's mainly well, apart from the top line up there. It seems to be quite a bit of blank spaces and gibberish. Okay, don't modify the file. Just keep that safe. I would suggest you put on a USB because presumably you're doing this because your computer's not working. And if your computer's not working, well, then you might get to the hard drive and get the saved file, so to speak. That's just the basics of that.